Hey folks, welcome to the tune of the week. Uh, this is something I wanted to start doing to highlight some great mandolin tunes that I feel like are underplayed or at the very least underappreciated. Um, so this week I thought we'd start uh, with a tune from Butch Balasari from his 1990 album Old Town. And this is the title track, one called Old Town. Butch was a great mandolin player, uh, originally from Pennsylvania and, and made his career in Nashville. Played with a great band called Weary Hearts uh, with Mike Bubb, Chris Jones, and Ron Block. That was back in the 80s and 90s and started the Nashville Mandolin Ensemble, uh, who put out some great recordings. Butch died about 10 years ago, but he's got a huge discography uh, that we can check out. And this is just the surface, uh, but I wanted to start us today with this great tune called Old Town. All right, so this is a great tune uh, in a key of E, mostly E major. It's got a couple of blue notes in there. Uh, mostly G, I guess, as the, as the prominent blue note. I'm just going to play through it really slow, and then we'll start dissecting it a bit. One, two, three, four. A section and the B section goes something like this. So in the A section, um, it really starts with this one main idea of this, this little phrase. Uh, and that's basically just an E major scale, skipping the seventh. Uh, so. And then we're going to tremolo in time, so down, up, down, up. This E double stop. And of course, that's the seventh fret and the fourth fret, and all of this is in the tab. Um, I would I would always recommend learning things by ear, or at least trying to learn them visually uh, and by ear. But if not, there's a, a tab that I wrote out which has got the pick strokes and the fingerings. Um, but for the most part, try as hard as you can to get it by ear. So we'll start with that main idea, and then play the same thing but flatten this third, so flatten that uh, G sharp to a G. And that'll be played over an A chord. In that sense. So we'll play that together. And then play the first phrase again. And that's pretty much it. And there's this last uh, little tag. So that'll be. And then sliding up into that E note. And Butch kind of hesitates uh, that last note. So you could play it straight, you could play. down, down, but Butch puts that on, on the last beat instead of, uh, instead of the third beat. He puts it on the fourth beat of that measure, which I'm still playing in a downstroke, um, just, just for the feel of, of playing the downstroke, but you could straighten it out if you want. I just wanted to transcribe it and show it to you in the way that Butch played it originally. So that's the A part. I'll play through it really slow and then we'll move on to the B section. One, two, three, four. And of course you play that twice. Uh, the tune's form is A, A, B, B. So let's move on to the B section here. I'll play it once, uh, moderately slow, and then we'll start to dissect it. So 
So playing this B part, I actually played it twice um, because of the first and second endings. The first ending being... And then it repeats with the second ending just on that A with a diamond uh, in the rhythm accompaniment. So let's start to break that down. So we'll start off just hammering on this third here with kind of a stream of downstrokes. Down, up, down, 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 down. Sliding that, uh, that note into the third from the fourth to sixth fret with your ring finger. And then repeating. And then we'll go into this A and to this G, so. And we'll repeat that. Repeat the same uh, second part of that section. And just leave it on that. So it's a pretty simple tune altogether. It's very quick. Um, usually played at a pretty nice tempo, but I'll go ahead and play that B part once again really slowly. One, two, three, four. So a couple of things to pay attention to on this tune would be primarily the tonality. Um, say you're taking a break over this, you're going to be playing mostly at a B major. Uh, with a couple of uh, blue notes in there, so you know, if you're playing over that A chord, you want to play over an A uh, major scale with that 7 in there. And the notes that are really going to highlight things are the 3rd, of course the C sharp note, and the seventh, the, uh, the G note. So, you know, you have... those notes right there. Another thing we want to pay attention to is the alternate picking on this tune. It's mostly down, up, down, up, down, uh, down on the even beats and up on the off beats and everything in between. So I'm playing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And all the pick strokes, everything like that, are in the tab. And lastly, something you could work on with this tune is your tremolo. Uh, mostly we're playing tremolo in time here. I think about, usually there's two ways you can approach tremolo. You can play it in time with the down-up, down-up approach, or you can play it just fast and, it, and as quick as possible over the, over the note. But, so this is how I'm approaching it. and played a tempo that will sound something like this. I think for a fast tune like this, it's more important to follow that down, up, down, up approach rather than lay into the tremolo, which would sound like this. That kind of, you kind of lose your subdivision when that happens. And it's, it's great on a slow song, you know, if you're playing, you know, Mississippi Waltz or any, any other slow song with a lot of tremolo, you can just kind of go crazy. But I think on a fast tune like this, it's nice to stay with the rhythm of the tune. So I'm going to play this once more uh, quickly and feel free to play along. The chords are in the tab that you can download. Pretty easy set of chords for this tune. There will be a new tune of the week every week. Uh, got a bunch of great mandolin tunes in store from some more modern mandolin players, some older mandolin players that everyone would be familiar with, but I really want to highlight some great players and some great tunes who don't get enough recognition. Thanks for listening, and uh, feel free to play along.